hi welcome back to my channel today I want to do a flip through of a book that probably already has uh, probably 10 12 flip throughs already but I needed to do this because the company Lawrence King and company they sent me this book for review so I thought it was high time that I did it and the reason that I never did the review when I first got the book is I had a video camera and a Logitech webcam but it stopped working with the laptop I had so I was in the process of setting up a new laptop and when I did it didn't work with that USB so obviously it was a camera so I never did the video and then I got the idea to use a boom arm with my iPad and here goes the video and I know that this works because I've been doing a few plan with me and haul videos so this works so I think I will timestamp this video to say when I actually started the review the book is the ink house by Rory Dobner as I said it's not going to be new to a lot of you because you've seen this on other channels as a matter of fact I've seen other channels coloring in it such as Dee Dee Willingham okay so when, as you see when we open it you have this image right here and right away the very first image is on the inside of the front cover and then you have the title page and then here you have the publication page or the publishing page it tells you the source of the book and then here you have the first inside cover page or really the second inside cover page from here on in we have a story and I cannot do the video and read the story at the same time I've said this in other videos that I'm extremely nearsighted um, I have a vision problem so I can gladly show you the pictures but I will not be able to read you the text at least not without moving the book away from the camera so here's the first uh, actual picture. It's not actually the first picture, but here's a picture here. Now, notice that it's heavily shaded, kind of along the lines of grayscale, if not actually grayscale. But if you use things like distressing and uh, other uh, forms of ink that you can spread, you can cover a lot of the background, and it's going to be very easy to do the detail. Here's a two-page spread with columns. I think it's absolutely stunning. And if you lean back from this, you can kind of get a 3D idea looking at this. Another two-page spread with more of the story up here. I truly regret that I cannot read you the text in this review. And that is another reason that I neglected to do it, is trying to figure out if I was going to just show the book and figure out how to read the text or just show the book. So, showing the book. Look at that clever fox right there. A cool elephant right here. Another bottle of ink. We saw one on the inside in the cover at the beginning. And then as if ink uh, is being used by this mouse to write to write this letter and to read this book as you see the quill right there pages fly with a butterfly all books are devoured I'm able to see that I'm not really able to see this here gorgeous butterflies I am going to try to color in this. I haven't decided what media I'm going to use. I don't have pen pastels or distress ink, but I do have a ton of other supplies, so I will figure something out. I'm even thinking of trying my zigs with it. I'm even thinking about using my zigs in this. I'm sorry, I hit the camera. And I just, let me just readjust it. And you have a number of teapots here. Sorry, you may have heard a little background noise. Okay, we have a leopard sitting on a chair and then a pillow on a chair with boots as if it's a person on the chair. 
Here's our fox again, dressed as a dapper dan. We have a giraffe looking like he is dealing with the teapots and whatever that is on the teapots. Okay, we have a turtle with multiple cups. A mouse playing the piano. There we go for that page there. Oh, having trouble turning this page. Look at the frog sitting right there with an old time radio. And we have like the canopy bed. Some stars with uh, text and another canopy. Uh, not really a canopy bed, but a bed in the wall behind the curtain. Okay, look at this picture. I really like this image. I mean, obviously it's broken columns and things like that with an owl, but I, I really like the image. Here we have uh, little bulldogs. Okay, I am not a dog person, so if they're not bulldogs, we're going to carry the words of Didi and say, don't email me. Okay, we have some letters. I for ink, H for house. You have a little bee, kind of in a magnifying glass with leaves on there. This kind of reminds me of the bee in the Rita Berman book on the cover. The artist is ret returning. Okay. Horses running through a very large room with columns. I kind of can read that. Panic ensues as the animals prepare to leave. I cheated on reading that. Okay, just look at this bird walking away with that and the umbrella. Bill the Badger. Here it says, Freddy is last to take a reluctant leave of the house. I'm going to tell you how I'm cheating. I'm reading this through the iPad and not on the book itself, so I actually can see the text. I just discovered that. Here you have the familiar columns that we, we saw earlier with a tree looking like it fell through the window or through the door. We get into the end of the book, Animal House, Annual Ink House Extravaganza. And then the last, and I will read this, it says, if you're ever lucky enough to come across a cat in a fetching hat or a saxophone float playing caterpillar, why not ask them to show you the way to the ink house? What a nice way to close the book. And then we have the insects at the end. Did you spot the ink houses in smallest residences? So this is kind of like a puzzle. I think of uh, Kirby Wilson. Is it Kirby? Or is it Nick Philbert? How they have, uh, and actually for that matter, Joanna Bassford, how they have uh, hidden things in the book. And if you can recognize the image here, did you see it in the book? And that is the end. And why don't I read this, since I discovered a way to read this. It says, Welcome to the Ink House, an artist's mysterious mansion built on a magical pool of ink that inspires creativity in anyone who lives there. When the artist goes adventuring, animals great and small arrive for the annual Ink House extravaganza. Come inside, the party is about to begin. And there it is, the Ink House by Rory Dobner. And when I speak to the company, I am going to beg their forgiveness for this delayed review, but I hope that you enjoyed it if you haven't already seen this on another channel. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.